we live in a nation with more freedom and prosperity than any other civilization in history. Our Christian heritage has everything to do with that. How long will we prosper if we continue to ignore God? Homosexuality, freedom or slavery? Homosexuality, a behavior that once was illegal, is now illegal to criticize. Reverend Alphonse DeVolk was ordered to go before a government tribunal in Canada for violating a hate crime law by defending the Catholic Church stance against homosexual unions. Most likely, he will end up having to pay thousands of dollars in fines and apologize for simply stating the word of God. The word of God in Jude says, as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to these, having given themselves over to sexual immorality and going after strange flesh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. In many nations and in a number of American institutions, such as a public school, as the one behind me, as well as universities, television networks, and government agencies, if you dare criticize a homosexual because of his homosexuality, you may face suspension, termination, and legal action. In Alberta, Canada, evangelical pastor Stephen Boisson was ordered to pay $5,000, quote, in damages for pain and suffering, end quote, and apologize to the human rights activist who filed the complaint for simply stating that, quote, homosexuality is wicked. Children as young as five and six years of age are being subjected to psychologically and physiologically damaging pro-homosexual literature and guidance in the public school system, all under the fraudulent guise of equal rights, end quote. The Holy Bible states in Leviticus chapter 18, You shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. Hate crime legislation is being developed to the degree that any perceived or actual wrong committed against a homosexual has the potential to be a hate crime punishable by imprisonment. Swedish pastor Ake Green of a Christian church in Kalmar, Sweden, was sentenced to one month in prison for simply speaking the word of God in one of his sermons, which was deemed, quote, inciting hatred, end quote, by the government of Sweden. In Leviticus chapter 20, we read, If a man lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. In tandem with the principles of tolerance and diversity, homosexuality is now taught as a pleasant way of life and a positive lifestyle that should be respected, if not embraced, by all Americans. Recently, tolerance of homosexuality among mainstream films of Hollywood have grown to increasingly higher levels. Movies such as Brokeback Mountain and Milk have garnered national acclaim from critics and have won numerous awards. Milk celebrates the life of gay rights activist and politician Harvey Milk, the first openly gay man to be elected to public office in the United States of America. The film was released to much acclaim and earned numerous accolades from film critics. Ultimately, it received eight Academy Award nominations. The Holy Bible states, Their murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord. Exodus 16. In school, at movie theaters, on TV shows, and political speeches, the leaders of America promote homosexuality. 
Inversely, those that oppose homosexuality have the scorn of today's elite and millions of Americans who have been manipulated into believing that tolerance of homosexuality is synonymous with being considered educated, compassionate, and in style. For those that go against the politically correct grain and insist that homosexuality is not good, but an abomination, the government has now stepped in to legally enforce the special rights of homosexuals. Recently, the legalization of homosexual marriages among states has started to increase. On May 6, 2009, Democratic Governor John Balducci signed into law a bill allowing gay marriage, making Maine the fifth state to allow same-sex marriages. By September 2009, Vermont, Connecticut, Iowa, Massachusetts, and Maine will all legally recognize same-sex marriages. On top of this, seven states and the District of Columbia, as seen on the map in orange, will all allow or recognize same-sex unions, with many of them providing state-level rights and benefits to varying degrees as well. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, we read, Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites will inherit the kingdom of God. In 2003, the nation of Canada legalized homosexual marriage. On June 7, 2003, Episcopalians and a national first for the church elected an openly homosexual man as their bishop. The definition for the word conspiracy, noun, a planning and acting together secretly, especially for an unlawful or harmful purpose. To illustrate this wicked plan, Greater Than Gold has the opportunity to make good use of the popular TV western The Lone Ranger. Though on the show the object of the conspiracy is a ranch, we would like to suggest that the object of the conspiracy can be any entity, including a nation. These rich rangelands are part of the Circle K Ranch. Owner, Sam Kittridge. Biggest, most prosperous ranch in Mesa County. And more than any other man, old Banty Bishop, Sam's foreman for 40 years, has helped to keep it that way. For the purpose of our illustration, Banty will represent the American middle class worker. But now that Sam is dead, and his young, inexperienced son, Bob Kittridge, is returning from the east to take charge, there are ambitious men, ruthless men, who would stop at nothing to gain the Circle K for their own greedy ends. Why, you dad blasted barmage? I'll give you your money's worth of trouble. Take it easy, Pat, the next one will have your name on it. Put him up, Pop. Well, it was nice meeting you, Mr. Devers, and thanks for all the advice. I've been living in the East so long, I feel like a regular tenderfoot. You'll learn fast, Mr. Kittredge. Like I said, if you ever need a good foreman, just ask. Mr. Devers represents a friendly acting political leader whose real intentions are to take and conquest. For Red Devers. Mr. Kittredge represents the unsuspecting American citizen. <laughs> well, thanks, but I'm afraid the Circle K could never get along with that old baddie bishop. Wonder where he is. He was supposed to meet me here. Oh, here he comes. Hey, Mr. Kidry! Hey, Mr. Kidry! Mr. Bob Kidry! 
Hickory. Well, how are you, boy? Oh, oh, Sandy. <laughs> How's everything at the Circle K? Well, sure, it's all snarled up, Mr. Bob. That's why I'm late. We got to form a posse. Posse? What's wrong? Because I was held up by some white-livered, chicken-hearted, sneak thief and bandits. And they got away with the ranch payroll. I don't mean to butt in, mister. But this old geezer's lying to you. Me and my partner both seen him this morning burying something in the sand behind your barn. Looked an awful lot like a chest to us. Why, you ornery critter. He's lying to you, Mr. Bob. I, I ain't never buried no chest. Uh, of course he didn't. Mandy wouldn't steal money from me. It's easy enough to find out who's lying. Just go dig behind your barn. Observe how one of the conspirators accuses, while the other acts as if he's coming to the aid of the accused, Banty, who represents the American middle class worker with traditional values and work ethic. Maybe you should, Mr. Kittredge. In all fairness to Banty here, he looks like an honest man. He should be given a chance to prove it. Well, there it is, right where we saw him bury it. Well, this just ain't true. Mr. Bob, I tell you, I didn't put it there. It must have been one of them three bandits. That doesn't make sense, old-timer. Never heard of bandits would rob a man and then bury the money in his boss's property. You don't think that, Danny, do you, Mr. Bob? Well, what else can I think? As Red says, your story just doesn't make sense. I'm sorry it has to end this way, Banny. Well, you, you mean that I'm through with the Circle K? Oh, don't worry. I won't prosecute you. We've got the money back. But I do want you off this ranch by sundown. The conspiracy wickedly pits Americans against each other. That's the way you feel about it. I'll get off right now. But I want to tell you something, son. You ain't the Kittredge that your Paul was. If you was, well, you know there'd be some trick to this. You... Well, Red... If you still want that job as foreman, I guess it's yours. Thanks, Mr. Kittredge. You won't be sorry. The American people open the door to those who want to subvert, demoralize, and control them. Well, come on over the ranch house, Red, and I'll sign you up. All right, Mr. Kittredge. For sale. For sale, the American Republic, as it has been conceived and defined throughout our history. Circle K Ranch. Interested parties, see Red Deaver's foreman. Red Deaver's. Unless I'm mistaken, Tano, we have caught up with our old enemy at last. Me think you right, Kimosabe. Him use different names, but him always break law in the same old way. The Circle K Ranch. Why, that's one of the finest in this county. No man in his right mind would want to sell it unless he were forced to. Oh, Silver. Oh, Scout. We camp here, Kimasabi? No, Tano. I think I heard something. Listen. Sound come from over there. We'd better take a look. On, Silver. Got shot in the back, and now I must die. die. Trouble, trouble. Nothing but trouble. Well, you can't get a cent out of me, stranger, because I'm broke. Banty, who represents the American middle class worker, has been demoralized. No job, and I'm through. We're not going to harm you, old-timer. You certainly look down on your luck. I'd like to help you if you'd let me. I, I ain't worth helping. I tell you, I'm all washed up. No, you're not. Nobody's ever washed up if they don't want to be. Come on, sit down and take it easy. Much obliged. In mind if we pitch camp here? Why, no, not at all. Just take off your gear and make yourself at home. Hey, you know something? I kind of like you, mister. Mask or no mask. I like them fellows, you too. Oh, children. Oh, boy. Why in the drama? 
Many of the demoralized turned to escapism through alcohol, drugs, gambling, pornography.